What's up? Nibbus D-Boss here. And I'm presenting you another debate, of course, because, you know, y'all love those. You know, you enjoy those. Y'all enjoy seeing me debate different topics and shit. So I'm giving you another one. And this one would be, uh, if my TikTok homies know, based on a situation I had with another content creator where we had a disagreement on Jiren being able to be Beerus. And that led into just, uh, does Jiren and Goku scale to Beerus anyway? I, of course... I'm taking the negative. I don't agree that Jiren and Goku scale to Beerus within the anime and manga. And my homie Thundercluck, here's his page right here. Show it some love, be positive, no toxicity, all that jazz. Obviously took the side of Goku and Jiren being stronger than Beerus. And of course, y'all are going to see the bit of that debate. Hope you guys really enjoy it. Like and subscribe, all that jazz, you know. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace! If this is uh, like, like Barry right, or Verse Flow. What's it? God, all right, what's up, man? Yes, sir. Appreciate you for all waiting. Right. Uh, oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, sorry, Tech, what's I up, be here. Uh, I'll be taking over as judge. What's up, of this debate? What's, what's, what's it? All right. So and that's we, cool, we uh, Dino. I'm not, I don't have like no problems with you judging. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm a non biased judge and I write everything down as well. So. Okay. I'm just an onlooker. I'm just gonna be an onlooker for this one. Wait, hold on. Uh, Wait, should I should I mute? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, I'm a mute. I'm gonna just be an so, onlooker. Got you. So, uh, you want to start right, with manga, or, like anime first? I think like manga would just be. Uh, we should start with that since like. No, no. Uh, do you do you wanna do you wanna uh, make your argument first, or should I? Uh, basically, like I'm on a negative, right? My claim is just that uh, for the manga, more so that it's no evidence that. Jiren or Goku scales to him within the manga. All right, uh, so then I shall supply some evidence for that. Gotcha. So, <clears throat> I've been I've, I've been collecting these fucking scans for God knows how long. Okay, gotcha. so where, um, uh, where are you posting the scans at? So like I make sure I'm in the right spot. Uh, verse not no wait not there. Uh, let's see. Do we have not any? Okay, I'll, I'll I'll just be providing them in general chat. Okay, got you. All right, so. We know, uh, alright, so first of all, here is Topo saying in the manga that Jiren uh, surpasses Belmod, right? And, and I'm going to be scaling Jiren off of Belmod. Um, so, so here's Topo saying that Jiren is stronger than Belmod. That, that, that's just flat out. Okay, um, can I like, uh, can I speak on this? Is that cool? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like in regards to this, he specifies in combat skill alone, right? So why would that entail power? I, I, I suppose so, but um, Whis has also several statements saying that, like, Jiren is stronger than his god of destruction. Within the and, manga? Like, ver various guides, yeah. I don't have the scans ready, but, like, yeah. Yeah, okay, because, like, you know, the only thing we go off of is, like, uh, for the manga would be, like, what the guide statement in this, right? Mm -hmm. And um, Topo specifically specifies skill, whereas, like, if he was saying just in raw power, it's not, like, um, a thing within Dragon Ball where characters uh, say skill when they refer to power. Uh, I, yeah, I can show like instances where they just flat out say this person's stronger than me, or he he has like very high key and et cetera, and that's how we mm -hmm. indicate okay this person is above this person. Whereas like if it's um a skill difference, for example, uh say like Krillin, he can be argued to be more skillful than people like Gohan, right? And the way he's able to uh you know go about doing stuff in the battlefield, working with seventeen and such like that, or even Roshi, how he has like this pseudo uh UI. Right, he would be technically more skillful than a lot of people within the verse, but that doesn't mean he could beat those people, right? Uh, so I, I, I like, get that. I get that. Yeah. So I would say, like, in you know, that would be the way I interpret Topo's uh, statement in regards of Jiren's power for the manga line of events. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I, I suppose that that's true. Uh, there's just a lot of other statements and several other data books and guides stating that Jiren is at the bare minimum stronger than Belmod. Mm -hmm. Can you provide uh, those then, like the manga line of events? Uh, yeah, I can I can try and find them. I, I, I can't you. provide no them rush. right here now. Like, there's, like, yeah. no rush for it. So, like, you know, as long as it's not, like, our, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, no, wait, that's an anime statement. It's not a manga statement. Uh... Damn it, all, these, all, all the statements look to be from anime only. Yeah, so, like, I know in the manga, it's the guide, right? So, if, like, you've got that one, I can speak on that. 
Oh, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just pull out uh, some of the guides. Uh, okay, so obviously we have this guide stating that Jiren is above a god of destruction. It doesn't really matter which one. Uh, here's another guide in a data book. And then here is yet another guide in a data book. And then here is uh, another data book and a guide. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna speak on the Magua first, and we could talk on the anime ones, just so I like I don't mix them up in my head because I'm yeah, kind of yeah. slow. <laughs> so in regards of um this like manga scan, right? You aware of, like where this comes from? Uh, this was the uh, promotional material for Jiren and the Turn of Power. Uh, well, like, not to sound, like, rude about it, but actually this comes from, um, a V-Jump Shonen thing where they're basically, uh, giving a summary for all of Dragon Ball. I'm gonna say, like, the full thing. This is, like, where it comes from. Uh, okay. and if you could see on it, you can see that it's basically going over these events that have already occurred. It's not, like, a data book. Uh, you can, like, mm -hmm. read it. You can, like, zoom in. If you need, like, a clearer one, I'm gonna send, like, the other half of it, too. Uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure I got the other half. Yeah, here go the other part. So, it's, like, whole thing to it and basically goes over all the arcs leading up to the T.O.P., and as you can mm -hmm. see, it never gives it never gives extra information. It only gives what has actually occurred within the events because it's meant to let mm -hmm. us, as the audience, know. Okay, this is what happened in Battle of Gods. This is what happened here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's like to catch us up, you know. Give us like you know this quick mm -hmm. rundown so we can just like go straight to reading, you know, T.O.P. Okay. God instruction stuff like that. So in regard of Jiren's uh, statement of being stronger than like all the gods, right? I would argue it's more so of a mistranslation. Because it doesn't go with what's already established for the guide itself, which is just a run over events that have already occurred. And with that, we okay. have to go off of what statements in the manga has said Jiren is stronger than a god of destruction, right? Well, where is there? Okay, we have Topos. Topo specifically specifies it's in combat skill, and we know it isn't all of them. We know it's specified to Belmont. So the statement would just okay. be completely contradicting what it's supposed to be doing, which is giving us this summary from the source. But it doesn't do that. It says something completely different. Uh, you know, uh, as a rebuttal to that, uh, yeah. I do have we statements. Now these are anime. These, yeah, these are cool. in the anime, but uh, these are we statements stating that uh, at the bare minimum, uh, Jiren is stronger than the gods of destruction. And uh, to go back, like just really quickly, uh, we see Belmod in the in the God of Destruction Royal Rumble. Uh, mm -hmm. not Royal Rumble, but Battle Royale, uh, trap know. each of the gods uh, in a bubble technique yeah. and then create playing cards that yeah. even they said was like, hey, yo, if this fucking hits me, I'm, we're going to die, right? So gotcha. right gotcha. there, and like if, if, if there is a massive difference in power between like all of the God of Destruction and Beerus is that much stronger than all of them, I have to ask, why didn't Beerus just break out of that bubble if, if he's so casually stronger than all of the gods? Got you. That is a very fair question, right? So just to speak on this moment, um, just to like give full context to it, I could present this too. Belmont sneaks all of these niggas, which is the exact reason why I like the um, exclamation bubbles pop up. Because Belmont originally smacked Sidra completely off guard. Um, I'm going to send like the full thing if you want it. Uh, but yeah, I well, say, I this mean... Is another I, I, as a rebuttal to that, uh, he like the, the gods are shown in multiple panels to be stuck in these bubbles. Yeah, I can explain that though, right? So in that moment, we understand that Belmont had just basically fucked over Sidra, and they're like, "What the fuck, Belmont? What are you doing?" Belmont's like, "Yo, it's a, it's a free for all. You know how it is." And he sneaks to these yeah. niggas. But even then, let's say I agree that he was able to catch them fairly, right? We know in the moment, only one of the gods. Wait, which one? The um, the the I don't know what the fuck that is, but the the god uh he's like is he seriously trying to kill us this doesn't imply that he could do it this doesn't mean that the power he has is enough to actually do it this just means um they see what belmont's doing as enough to um insinuate that he is he has the intention to actually kill him well yeah yeah, yeah. I, I get that much and that would be like like pretty fair but when he throws the the uh the key-based uh playing Wait, cards hold that thought once they the okay one hour later. All right, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, right, Alante, Alante, yeah, right, I actually Alante, Alante, I kind of lost a friend just so, so I can... All right, everybody meet up. Everybody meet right, up. Meet up. Okay, um, where was I at? Because I was speaking on this. Am I fucking mind? Uh, so oh, you, I was explaining the Belmont situation. Talking? I was explaining the Belmont yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. So basically... Yeah, you guys talking what, about um, the Belmont trap and gods of destruction? Yep. So basically when the god makes this comment... Um, he's just more so saying that Belmont is showing this actual, like, he's demonstrating this, um, 
intention to kill them. Mm -hmm. But the intention doesn't mean that that's actually what's going to happen because we see after this, he does nothing to them. <laughs> he hits them with well, the card. Actually, actually, um, oh, when he throws the playing cards, they, they like they are able to avoid the playing cards just enough. But when like the like some of the playing cards actually strike some of their phases and it cuts through them like fucking butter, implying that if it was a head-on collision, it would just cut right through them. No, yeah, I got you. I'm gonna explain that. I don't care so much about the other gods; they're irrelevant to me. I'm speaking more just on Beerus. Beerus after Beerus that scene shows he shows no sign of injury. He's not even one of the people we see mm. moaning or getting hurt afterwards. I can provide a scale or, or, or a pen. And also, or, um, what I sent, right, ways. after what you sent, it's literally Beerus throwing a simple key blast, and the gods note, and Belmai is included in this, that if Sidra didn't put up his barrier, they would have died. <laughs> this isn't them saying yeah. that Beerus, this isn't even the comparable to what um you presented with Belmai, right? They're showing that Belmai just has the mentality to kill him. With Beerus, they're just flat out saying that Beerus could kill them. He, and this is well, like, I mean, I, this I, is I'd one, two, that. three, four, five. This is like five gods in one. And they're like, yeah, Sidra, if you didn't put that shit up, you would have, we would have been fucked. That was our ass. Well, yeah, no, I, I mean, I'd say that that each of these feats are fairly comparable based off of the fact that Belmont trapped Newbie. all of them. Hang on, guys, hang on, hang on, bubbles. hang on, guys. Newbie, stop sending stuff in gen chat, or I'll boot you. Bro, bro I sent this stuff in general chat before, bro. like when D balls was on break, bro. Why'd you boot me from the debate when, like, look at the timestamps, bro? Okay, you're good, you're good, you're cool. But um, just to explain why they boot you, you're black. Oh my god. Okay, just to explain like why the situation wouldn't be comparable. Uh, Beerus is not like um, in any way like it's no implication that he's catching them off guard. They're fully aware of what's happening. Um, in regards to, like Belmont, where it's contentious, we can see that they were not anticipating the attack, and we know this couldn't be the case of Belmont being relative because Belmont could have been murdered by Beerus's attack. So it just wouldn't be consistent to say that Belmont can realistically catch people off guard who can like like Beerus could just kill him. You know what I mean? So scaling wise, it wouldn't make any sense. And then later on, I can show proof for this. Beerus is shown with no injuries from Belmont's attack. He is shown completely fine. Mm, so I would no. say that even for okay, wait, I can show you too. I forgot what part of the fight. I think it's like 30. No, wait, a little bit more back. So one of these. I know it's like right after uh the Zamasu shits. Right here, right here. Uh in this panel right here, we see scratch and cuts on Beerus's legs and arms or ears and arms. Okay, in this moment, and this from the this uh, which point is this at? When the um elephant is running at him? Uh, yeah. So it's after Rumshti breaks out of the like thing, and he's getting super pissed, and then he charges. Would, would you believe um, that Beerus being jumped in the beginning would be something that would matter for like his overall scaling throughout the fight? Um, no, like, because it, he he did use a very like dumbed down version of the Omen of Ultra Instinct, but he was able to avoid most of them for a long period of time. However, he never like he was able to outsmart a lot of them. This does not mean that he can kill all of the god of, gods of destruction. I wouldn't say what Beerus did was outsmarting. If like a simple key blast to their dome would have killed them, I wouldn't say that's outsmarting. I would say Belmont definitely outsmarted the group. Right, he snuck Sidra, and then he got the rest in a bubble when they weren't even like expecting that to be the case. Because the original mm. goal, and yeah, I feel there's no contention. Just the original goal of when that started was to jump Beerus. It was not for all of them to like fight each other. The original goal was to jump Beerus. So that's what all of their mind is on. Which is why I'm saying that there's definitely an argument to say that they were caught off guard by Belmont's betrayal because they didn't expect him to do something like that. Well, yeah, no, but like, like the the effects of like getting caught off guard and being like, oh shit, he, he's he's got us would would wear off after the first panel like they have been like over well, three you don't panels, believe you don't believe right you don't believe that this all this would mean is just that belmont's bubbles if you're caught in them is something that's just very difficult to get out of like just being caught like it's not something that once you're caught you can just be like okay i'm gonna power out of this right otherwise why would well, belmont even the, like try to use it you know the what fox I mean? god did power out of it the well fox none of them well, they did it the belmont hits them it. belmont hits them with the cards and that's what stops it they don't break out of it, right? That's not what occurs. The what Fox I'm saying, God even then, out of it. who breaks out of it? The Fox God. He breaks out of it. Can you show me? Yeah. So I recall yeah, them cool. getting. I recall them getting hit by the card, by all the cards, he, he and then they proceed tails. to like be free. He he uses his uh all of his tails to rupture the bo the uh, the bubble. And isn't then that's his, when wait, has isn't to, his panel like the, right after they get hit? Yeah, so yeah, so I would just say he just dispersed, like all is just dispersed from the attack itself. No, 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 no. So, so what happened is uh, Belmont threw the cards, and that's when the Fox God got super pissed and he broke out of the box, and then he like charged Belmont, and that's why he had to release it. Okay, can you like present the full context of that? 
Yeah. Or like, just tell me the chapter. I'll look for it myself too. So, so he breaks out of it. Uh, let me just pull that up. Okay, wait, never mind. I just found it. Okay. But like, yeah, so, so they're all trapped in the bubbles, and then he launches his attack. Like, oh, oh over the course of three panels. Oh, never mind. I see it. Yeah, you're correct. Yeah. This just helps my point, though. Beerus survived longer than this dude who's able to break out of Belmont's attacks. Well, yeah, but Belmont sh was sh but going off of that logic, Belmont showed no damage. Well, we know that Belmont are, like faked it, right? He pretended to well, be knocked yeah, out but, after that. But point. like based off of that logic, Belmont is the strongest there if he survived the longest. Well, what like, proves? Wait, they, hold they, on. They mean we know at the end of the fight, right? Belmont shows no injury and he's acting like he's knocked out. Why would that insinuate yeah. that he fought for the entirety of the time? If the only moment Whoa. we see of Belmont is him getting hit by the fox guy, and then later on we see him on the ground, there's nothing that implies that he was fighting people. That would be an Whoa, assumption I mean, to say that, that he was in combat. I, I, feel like, I feel like the gods aren't, like, like, it implies one of two things. One, Belmont just lays down somewhere, and nobody thinks to check Well, you don't believe time. in this, like, free-for-all, right? They're all going to attack each other. They're not like, oh, what about Belmont? They're just worrying about, like, not getting their own ass whooped. So the moment they see this explosion that Belmont was calling, yeah, they, they have no logical reason to still care about him. You would be basically saying that, like, Belmont's the most important person there when we know, like, the elephant comes in next. And, like, it's literally no time for them to search for Belmont or care about it. If Belmont isn't attacking them, he's not a problem. He, 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 they don't care. You know what I mean? I, I would say that's logical with their overall uh, just... Well, if, if, if it didn't, if the if uh, the Grand Prix didn't stop that tournament, then after Beerus versus Kitella, Belmont would have just waltzed up and said, hey, what's up, bitch, and then smacked him. Like, well, but then that wouldn't help your point, because all I mean is Belmont had to fake to be asleep, would wait for them to be injured, and then hit him then. All that would yeah, mean is that... Like, Actually, that would help my point even more because all it would mean if we're going with that line of logic is that Belmont feels more comfortable catching them when they're at their weakest and can't properly defend themselves. Well, so well he that's feels part of strategy, to first of all. And secondly, him being on the ground like that implies one of two things. One, Belmont just lays down and doesn't, nobody even thinks to like. Wait, hold on. You wouldn't think strategy is like based off what two. you're capable of doing? Hmm? Like, Batman makes a strategy to be Superman, right? He's making that strategy because otherwise, without it, it would be very difficult to fight Superman. Yes, but but like brains all like it's yeah, not so, just a meat so with that, it's right? not just a meat contest. No, hold on. If you're agreeing to that and you're saying that like if we're saying that strategy is in like indicative of what you're um capable of doing versus this person and the strategy is meant to make it easier to fight them, then what I'm saying still works. Belmont is making a strategy to allow an easier fight because if he just ran up on him straight up, right? He would lose. He doesn't feel confident in that. That's all that would mean. It would still mean he does not feel confident fighting Beerus or Quintella if the only confident way he feels like fighting them, based off your interpretation, is if they're weakened. Even if it's okay. saying he's, he's using his brains, it still means that he's logically thinking, okay, it would be really dumb if I ran up on them when they could reasonably fight me, so I'm going to run up on them when they're weaker and they can't do so. That's all that would mean. Okay, so 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 my, my uh, rebuttal to that is if, if there is a power difference and if uh, you say that there's a massive power difference between Beerus and Belmont. I have to ask, why did Beerus not just burst out of the bubble like Belmont did? Well, we or, know uh, in like, the situation, like the right, that I already brought up, Beerus was the one, like, getting jumped originally. He has more wear and mm -hmm. tear than the rest of the overall gods, and I don't believe you can say that they did more than him. Arguably well, so, I, Beerus I, I, was the one getting, like, fucked up the most out of everyone. Well, he, he didn't sustain any, like, serious damage uh, at the beginning parts of the match. He, he avoided all of them for the entire time. Well, I'm not saying Belmont so much of him getting injured. Dodge. I'm saying the act of him punching, running, and dodging attacks is him using up stamina. Yeah, it, however, it wasn't really that much because Bear seems in peak condition even afterwards. Well, what presents he's in peak condition? He, he doesn't look to have sustained any damage before Belmont, like, turns on everybody. Yeah, he, that doesn't mean anything. We know that we know that when Belmont screws everybody over, he instantly is put into the bubble. There's no like showing of Beerus being like we don't know, and we also know Beerus is fighting for his life because the rule is, like, don't hold back. They're going for the kill, so yeah, Beerus we, we, can't we, have we, this like level of fatigue and just not like show it in the way of like, uh, for example, like physical damage. If I run a lot, I'm not getting beat up by running, but I can be tired yeah, by running. We we never see him like huffing and puffing. We see him still talking shit to Kitella. Well, we know Beerus like is saying, for one hey, a come, person come that wouldn't show vulnerability. We know Beerus as a character, expect like within the manga line events, he's not one to like show weakness. 
unless it's like Zeno or the Grand Prix. Yeah, but I feel like that's definitely a stretch to say that Beerus is just tough guying it. Like you don't you don't that, believe that, Beerus that, like you don't believe Beerus is a person who would be like, oh yeah, I don't look like a bitch in this moment. If he's exhausted, he's exhausted. You can't fake being tired. Well, I'm not saying so much that he's like um that he's like uh faking uh being like tired or anything like that. I'm just saying that in this moment, he's obviously doing more than the rest, right? I'm Absolutely, just saying, but I don't think it's enough to like make it that much of a difference. Why would it not make a difference if he's the majority of like the person doing most of the work within the fights? Because he hasn't shown any like signs of actually sustaining tired, like serious stamina drain. But if why he, does I, he? I'm not saying that well, he didn't have the any reason why I'm drain. saying that would have to be the case, right? Is if, if Beerus has the ability to kill Belmont and the rest of the gods, right? That was in the bubble with Sidra with a key blast, mm -hmm. as noted by the gods. And then later he gets caught by Belmont, who she he should be reasonably weaker than. Then it just would more likely make sense that he's tired. He's not at his tip. He's been well. I, I I can make the exact same argument that you said. Beerus just has the intent to kill them. But because no, for the, so the, the, the reason why I said the, that the same statement gets said twice with Beerus no. So hold on. Belmont. The reason why you can't say what I said for your statement is because my statement, what I sent, is not saying a mentality. It's not insinuating mental. It's saying that blast itself would have killed us. Not that Beerus is really trying to kill us or that Beerus is, like, really dead ass right now. Just his attack would have fucked us up. Whereas your scan presents a mentality of Belmont can, can seriously trying scan? to kill them. Can I see the scan of the of the statement? That you sent or what I sent? That, that, you're, that you're saying about uh, Beerus killing the other gods. Okay, yeah, I'm going to resend it. Let me just, like, re-download it here. Give me one second. Oh, never mind. I got screwed up the one body, you shits. Okay, here we go. All right, uh, resending it now. Resending. Oh, where are y'all sending this scan? Oh, in general. Yeah. Okay. Do you uh, are they still alive after that? Maybe so he says right here, Sidra, you saved us all, which would be implying that Beerus otherwise would have murdered them without Sidra's help. Uh, Sidra, you saved us all. Who? Okay, all right, all right. So, to my rebuttal to that, if if Sidra is capable of blocking one of Beerus's full power attacks, as Goku even states, Beerus isn't holding back. Belmod one shot Sidra. Like, well, for like, one, we know that the next panel. So hold on. Off of that, I would just argue that the God destructions, like uh, like the barrier and the um and the bubble shits, are just like hacks and don't actually scale to them realistically. Because if Beerus is the I last feel like one, that's a, that, that's another. Well, I'm, I'm explaining why that would have to logically be the case, right? If Belmont is someone that can be murdered by Beerus with a key blast, but can later put him in a bubble, then all that it doesn't make sense logically. He can be hurt by Beerus while fully guarded, and otherwise couldn't react to him unless Sidra saved him, but could then put Beerus in a bubble. All that would mean is that the bubble does not scale to like Belmont. It, it couldn't. It wouldn't make logical sense to say it does, because it does connect to previous level of scaling that Beerus would have over Belmont. That and for Sidra, like that would further like, help my point. Sidra gets washed, and he's even one of the last niggas left, but Beerus is. So it's like this continuous, like, level of, um, of evidence that Beerus is just, like, able to whoop these niggas' ass. Like, he, he isn't he isn't having this extreme level of difficulty fighting them because he's the but last to, nigga left. But once again, I have to say, if if he can't just beat all their asses, then why didn't he just break out of the bubble no diff? And yeah, even if that's what went into him being problems, tired. I already spoken it, it can't it can't be that big of a difference because Beerus shows no visible stamina loss. Well, the only so I already explained why he would logically have to be fatigued in some sense, right? I don't yeah, in some be, sense, but it's it, not the enough presentation to just I'm giving for this like argument bitch. is that he has a feat where he can kill Beltman in one shot because the guy is like, You saved us all. He's not saying just him, everyone, and then he puts him in a bubble and Beerus like doesn't show the ability to be able to escape from it. It would only have right, to mean like that Beerus Belmod is not at the same killed, level. He's gotten Beerus, fatigued from the fight. Belmod could have killed all of the other gods with that one playing card trick. But hold on, we know that's not the case. Matter. Because we know, for one, the gods don't, like, evade the attack. They just block it. So there's even a bigger <laughs> difference. They flat well, no, out avoid Beerus's... They flat out avoid Belmont's... Not avoid. They flat out just block Belmont's attack, Right. There's no it like need of that, that, that's why that's why their arms and their faces get diced up. Yeah, but the, the point is, is right. There's a them. there's a big level of difference from it being able to kill you like one shot you to whereas they got some scratches. Like I don't believe that. Yeah, like the, the, I don't the, believe that, that's part of the point on why it missed. Like it partly missed. It just wait. Can you prove to me that they were actively trying to dodge these attacks? 
I, I, I can't prove to you that they're actively trying to dodge. I can prove that they that the attacks don't fully land. That it just okay, then all, all that would mean is, right, all that would mean in a situation, if Belmont can't hit people in a bubble, stationary and not moving, that he's controlling, well, that he has to hit. wouldn't be a... He, he throws them out, like, everywhere. Like, like, like fucking Jiraiya's whatever. Wait, you don't believe right? that Belmont would be trying to accurately aim at the people he's fighting? Why would he aim well, like everywhere Well, he's throwing it at them? 20 people at once, and he's got to yeah. hurry, otherwise they'll break out. Well, we know it. Okay, so in that case, right, if he's aiming at people, we have to account for what actually hit him. I don't believe the more cards would matter. It would just be a card hit him, and they weren't. They didn't feel like that would kill him. They didn't. They didn't mm -hmm. care about it. The same vein that Beerus's attack literally had like one of the guys shitting himself, and was like, "Yeah, he would have fucked us all up." I don't believe what? Belmont's overall feet is comparable to Beerus's feet because I don't believe How a not? small because cutter. Because we we see that that none of the gods are able to break out before. It, it hits them. Well, for one, I don't like care about any other god besides Beerus, and I already explained that Beerus would be fatigue based off like current established. It would established not be feats. that much of a difference in terms of fatigue. Well, I explained it, like, it, it would not make you... Beerus go from wildly stronger than all the other gods to getting bitched by one. Well, it, he wasn't like... getting for one. He didn't get bitched. Getting trapped in a bubble and being barely hurt isn't being bitched. All it would mean is that Beerus got fatigued to a point where Belmont could do something like that. Or the other interpretation is the god of so, structures so have Beerus, abilities so Beerus that are hacked. Lowers himself down to Belmod level after a minute. I didn't of fighting? say he's consciously doing it. I'm saying from the fight he just gets tired. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense that he can one shot so all of the god. Beerus has terrible god. stamina. Beerus has terrible stamina, and he can't last in a fight because he's getting if, jumped if, by. F Wait, hold on. You think getting jumped by multiple gods would imply he has terrible stamina? If he's that tired after a like, but I'm not saying I'm not saying he's incredibly tired. I never said he's like dead like dropped to the ground tired all i'm saying is that there's definitely a drop in power and it has to come from the fight it, it can't be that substantial though okay it so explain like, how belmont right is said to like be okay. like all all five gods would have been murdered without sidra and then he gets caught up by belmont okay well first of all um <laughs> If if okay, let's 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 do it your way, and let's say that Beerus is just exhausted. Like I'm not he, saying he's extremely exhausted. Shit. I'm just saying lower to a point where Belmont can affect him. Well, with with how you're scaling Beerus, he would be like way weaker than normal, right? That's not what I'm implying, though. I'm not saying he's way weaker. Like where where so Beerus would scale, where Beerus would scale, right? I can say he's above Belmont, and him being tired just made him like relative enough to be able to actually be like fucked up by Belmont or just um Belmont can actually so how affect far, him at how this point. far in front of Belmont do you think Beerus is in inverse I don't believe I have to actually quantify that I just need to say he's stronger based off feeds I don't believe I need to say like a 50 percent 10 percent he's just stronger if, if okay um my point is is that if Beerus is like significantly stronger than Belmont and if he is like why, like watered down to being able to get bitched by Belmont, then Beerus has terrible stamina. But wait, what implies getting bitched? He gets barely hurt by Belmont's attack. He would have died. All of the gods would have died if the cards hit them head on. What states that they would have died if the cards hit them head on? <laughs> and no, no statements. It's the fact that the cards grazed all of the gods. Okay, and it so them up. Like, so fairly right. I'm presenting that there actually is a statement that Beerus would have killed them. You're giving me an assumption that like Belmont would have actually killed them. But we don't know okay, that's the case. Let, 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 me, let me put it to you like this. If someone throws a kunai and it grazes your arm and it cuts your arm, you can't say, oh, if that, if that hit me head on, it wouldn't have done anything. If, it, and then, if okay. it's able to cut you by grazing you, then it's able to like, pierce but, through you instead. But we know the intention is, is for Belmont to be trying to kill them, right? So yeah, and, him, and so the fact them the getting grazed because they, they blocked, they're, they're blocking the actual attack, just means that Belmont's cards are too weak to actually do anything substantial. That's all it, it cut through them by grazing their skin. And were they blocking? Like, like the they attack were, mixed. Wait, hold on. They were blocking, correct? They were blocking? Putting your hands up and getting cut, yes. Okay, I, I so in a with sense, that, right, blocking. it's fair to say they were blocking the attack. If he can't even beat them in a bubble, stationary, and when they block, they can survive the attack, whereas Beerus has a confirmed statement that he would have murdered them, you're, you're just assuming Sindra, that Belmont could have done it. by Belmont blocked Beerus' attack. But why are you saying bitch by him being in a bubble and getting a little cut, like little cuts? Whereas, because like, Belmont they raise their arm again. It's like a kunai. If, yeah, if so a if, kunai if we're comparing the quality, your skin and it cuts you. If the kunai hit you in the fucking head, you're gonna die. No, that's a big difference, right? If they have time to react to his attack, Hello. hold on. If they have time to react to his attack, and then they have time to block it, and then the attack doesn't do anything substantial to them. What you would be saying is, is that if they were slower, because that's the only way it would work. 
The only way your logic works is if they were just slower. Just if slower. If there's one of them, if there's one of them, then absolutely he hits them in that tiny ass bubble. See, he, he, here's what I'm saying. He was able to trap all of the gods, and for about like enough time for him to launch his attack, they were not able to break out, right? And it hurts them, even though it missed. It cuts them up and it dices them up like fucking butter, right? If it's just Belmod versus Beerus, he's hitting that attack. He's landing it, and he's dedicating all of his er energy into putting it into that bubble. So Beerus has no hope of What I'm explaining out. is, right, he obviously can't hit them in the head because they can react to it. They can literally react to Belmont's attack and go All of them can. All of them can when he throws it out like fucking crazy. Just throwing it in their general direction. If there's one of them... Can you prove that he was just throwing it in their bubble, general direction? Because we established that Belmont's trying to kill them. It doesn't make any sense to not aim at them. That doesn't like make he any sense. He can't aim at them because mind. he doesn't have enough time. Why does he not have enough? How would he know like how much time he has left? Can you prove that he's like okay, worried here, about how long me, they're going to be in the me. bubble? This is how he throws it. Hold on, give me a second. I'm pulling up the feed. Actually, if we look at when all of them get hit, they do like. J I don't think anyone is shown just avoiding it. They literally just all block it. Actually, I can like send. Them. Okay, here. This is how Belmont throws it. He's just throwing it in their general direction, hoping that it hits some of them directly. I disagree. I'm about to present these scans where it's showing how? that they actually, they're all hold around on. him. I'm about to show you a scan where it's showing the cards are actually hitting them. Right. There's it no, it is hitting them, but it's just yeah. raising so, them. So, hold on. And if the goal is to not hold back, it would be literally retarded to say that he's, like, throwing it in general direction. You have to be joined, throwing it at them. And all I'm saying is that they can react to it, dodge it, and not even be greatly hurt by it. They still can go but on and fight other gods. we see that, that the ladies, uh, that her armband gets broken just from it grazing her. Okay, that's but material. Why would, wait, why would, the arm, why would the armband have to scale to her? Why would, like, jewelry have to scale to the individual? Because we see cuts all over them. Like, how we see Rumshi's ear, the, the elephant god's ear, get cut completely yeah, in that's, half. Yeah, that's not what I asked you. I said, why in this case, right? Why would jewelry, because you said, like, her jewelry broken. I don't feel like that matters. We would only be focusing on skin I, I'm, I'm saying that she was able to avoid it just enough for only her armband to be broken. Yeah, I disagree. We they never don't see show... any of it hit straight on. Yeah, I disagree. We only see that it grazed all their we arm see, and cut through All them. we see from the scans that's presented is that he throws the cards at them. There's no signs that cards are missing. We see the cards hitting them because we hear, like, one of them, But, ah, we, <laughs> but, but the jewelry gets hit, and she doesn't. We, we know, I'm not denying they get hit. That's not what I'm saying. We know that they have enough ability to react and block his attack. We then know that Belmont couldn't even kill them anyway. And this is, when we know he's going all out because the Grand Prix said, if you don't, I will kill you. I will wipe you. So there's no reason for Belmont to fuck around here. He would have to be intentionally trying to aim at them and not, like, save them by aiming in general directions. There's but nothing to insinuate. Here's my, here's my point. On. Here's my point. We never see any of the cards hit them head on. And from when, Hold on. when we where see do you, Where do you see in this them, scan? Where do you see in the scan that I sent where he throws the card that none of them, like, one of them missed? Can you show me where one of the cards missed? Well, they, they never directly miss. They hit the opponent, but barely. Like, they graze Okay, and why, and why do and they the not... And the nearly fucking hits Rumshi cuts, like, so, straight up... So cuts why do you like believe, butter. why do you believe, right, that it doesn't cut them in the throat or cut them in the head? It's because they blocked it, right? They had to believe react to it. What? Why does it not cut them in the head or cut their throat? Because they're able to block it. Because they're able to avoid it just enough. Okay, so if they can react to it then... The, it wouldn't because help your point. Of them. Hold on. And it he's wouldn't help your it point. In their general direction. All you would be giving right is an assumption that because of the number of gods, he missed some of them. Even though from the scan I sent, we see none of it missing. No one implication that it's like whiffing. All it means right is that the gods were able to avoid some of the cards and block it. And even then, the AP difference would be substantial. A small graze versus complete death is not comparable. Beerus would have killed them, whereas Belmont just scratched them up. He wasn't but then, again. That's, it, they're that's not like the Kuna argument. Mm -hmm. If if it if it visibly shows that it is able to pierce their skin and cut through them, then it will cut through them. Okay, I would say that's an assumption because we see his attack. How it is doesn't, it an assumption? Hold on, it's an assumption because we see that when he throws the attack at them, they can react, block, and not be greatly affected by it. In the same way that Beerus would have just killed them. That's it. That's all I'm saying. But, but it's but not attack, comparable. Like, it barely, like, Cause okay, all right, so then back back to the Sidra argument. Sidra was able to block Beerus' attack, and then Belmont bitch Sidra. Okay, hold on. Before we go to the Sidra point, right, would you say if I completely vaporized you with an attack, 
versus me cutting you with attack, what would you say is better? What? If I was to cut you, right, versus if I hit you and you just blow up, which one is better? The Where graze, does it directly the small state cut? that that would have... Hold on. Let, let me look back at this. They say after that, beard, just, uh, you saved us all. Haha, <laughs> no looking much. My speed when it comes to barriers, few. It never directly states that that would have murdered them. Wait, hold on. You don't believe saying that saved us, right? You saved us would be implying that otherwise they would have died? No, no, because, because like, with what you said, the, you can't compare. The, you can't compare what I responded to your said, is to my he trying to kill us. And no, you, hold on. You can't compare that. that down to mentality. You can't compare that because in your yes, case, you there's hold you on. Can absolutely compare in that. your case, right? Look at the. Let's read. Let's read the wording. He's really trying to kill us. We can know that this is speaking on the mentality of the individual, right? That's what they're That's saying about Belmont. Hold on. And then with Beerus, they say, you saved us. They're not commenting that Beerus is really trying to kill him. They're just saying that Sidra, other, if you didn't put that barrier up, I would have been fucked up. That's all. That's literally all that would mean there. That's the interpretation I'm giving. But, but it never implies that they would have died. It implies that they would have get, gotten hurt or damaged by hold the on. attack. Hold on. What shows? So wait, that if that says... Eviscerated. Hold on. If, they, if, they, if they're only implying that they would have been hurt or damaged, right? They only would have hurt or damaged. It would have been a big deal. Why say you saved us? Saving would mean they would have been in some serious trouble otherwise. Saved us from damage. Saved us from being saved us from wounded. getting murdered. Because that, against hold on, because against Belmont to the to the to hold the on, statement. because against Belmont they never even mentioned that they like it, they're never like oh shit we're gonna actually die. They never even play. He says, "Is he trying to kill us?" Hold on, him saying if someone's like, "Damn, he's really trying to murder me." Does that mean he can actually kill me? Like, yes. <laughs> So so hold on. If I walk up to Mike Tyson, right, and I'm trying to hit him, and Mike Tyson's like, damn, this this dude's really trying to get in my ass. That Maybe is I can not get in a Mike Tyson's fair ass? comparison. If you're using a knife on Mike Tyson, yeah. I, well, it wouldn't even matter the knife. I'm giving like a situation where we both have basically um equal footing, right? I don't have a gun. Comparison. I don't have a gun oh. in my hand or anything. Because if I have a knife and Mike Tyson doesn't, that's an unfair comparison. That would be okay. That, okay, that wouldn't work right. for this so example. then let, let, let me offer a comparison to that. If okay. I go and punch Mike Tyson in the face and someone like moves my hand out of the way, he goes, "Damn, man, you saved me." Does that okay, mean hold I'm on. Knock out so Mike with Tyson that, with right? I would just say, I would just say, so we don't keep running on this. My interpretation is, if they're insane, if um the guy is saying that you saved us. The only way this would make sense, because they wouldn't, a little bit of damage wouldn't be saving you. That's whatever. All it would mean here is that Beerus would have fucked them up. He would have killed them. The damage would have been greater regardless. Either if you want and to what say, I'm saying hold, is, wait, is hold on, I'm not he, finished. Either if you want to say that he would have greatly damaged them or just killed them. Either way, it's more than what Belmont is insinuated and implied to be doing. How? How is it? How is it? More? Yeah, I feel like we're gonna get circular. Can yeah, you that's why I said like, like yeah, we can just, we can just leave this one up. I, I explained why, right? To um, okay, okay. Like, so so you, okay, all right. So so let's say else. let's say that that at least at the very bare minimum that Belmont is at least relative to Beerus. I disagree with relativity. Like relative when he's tired. Hey, yeah. No, no, we could we could just leave it to the judge. Is at the end, you made your point, he made his point. If we keep going on, it's gonna get started. Yeah, okay, so we can just like agree on this point. Agreed. Yeah, so, cool. all right, all right, all right. So, uh, apart from all the guides and all the statements saying, Oh, yeah, you know, um, after this, I'm gonna speak on the um, guides and stuff you sent, right? We just like got okay. caught up in the manga part. I'm gonna speak on the anime yeah, stuff true, you true. sent. Um, so here is like a direct translation from this guide saying that it is not implying that the role that he's above a singular god of destruction, but rather any of them. Wait, hold on. Where is this from? Uh, this is a Reddit post. Someone translates the direct uh, promotional material. No, I'm asking like where, like, like what is this scan exactly from? Exactly, because this looks like. Uh, wait, let me see if I can find it. I'm pretty sure it's a super exciting guide. I could be wrong on that, though. Because I can recall these being like cards. Uh, yeah, I, okay, so uh, just just so you guys don't get like too crazy about it, I, I have the official scan if you want me to post the whole thing. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Okay, hold on. Let me find it. Because I think D-Balls is oh, yeah. trying to compare it to... Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I found it. Someone oh, yeah, go show Mike echoing. Oh, 
But also, like, why he's looking for that, right? Just, like, verify it. Uh, my rebuttal to yeah. that would just be, are you aware that within, like, Japan, there's, like, a lack of two plurals? Yeah. I'm yeah, so, so, yeah, with that, right, why would this not be a mistranslation? Like, why should I trust but, this? What, what I'm saying is, is that to say that five guides, like, not just one, but five guides are no, I got all you. mistranslations. So, wait, let me, speak, let me speak stretch. on the other guides, right, before, like, you include those, just so I don't, like, leave them hanging. So, you showed, wait, one with... Damn, people was texting here. There's a lot to scroll through. You don't got to read. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll just send them again. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. One. This is two. This is three. This is four. And this is... I, I guess I'll just use the we statement as well. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Then I'm going to like speak on all of these. Okay. So to say that all five of them are all mistranslations, I feel no, like I got you. I'm going to explain like, why this wouldn't be the case, right? So um, in regards to Weiss's statement, are you aware there's another translation by Funimation where it specifically states their God of Destruction and it doesn't say A? I'm going to send it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to send that so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, organize these bitches in better focus. Let's see. Let's see what I mean. uh, this one. Okay. Stated by Herms, right? Herms is like a world, like, he's really, really known for translations within Dragon Ball. But there's a lack of true plurals in Japan, so it makes it very ambiguous. So I would say in this case, right, we would have to show, you would have to, like, prove why in this case, uh, the interpretation would be that it's speaking of all the gods. And to speak on Okay, these, so, so, so with this wait, one, it says um, let me, like, tackle all of these, right, before... Okay. You know, tackle all these because it kind of like goes all in one. I don't want to. If it feels like I'm adding something different, just let me know and we can like pause it. But um, to okay. speak on Weiss's statement, that would correlate to what I just sent, right? We understand that like uh, wait no, that ain't what I sent. Here's the Weiss thingy. <laughs> I sent something completely different. I was meant to send that, but I'd be fucking wishy washy. Hey yo, newbie, bro, calm the fuck down with this racist shit, man. It's all oh, good. Man, don't, don't worry, worry Delonte. Delonte. You know me, right? You know I only hate you. I, I, love I, you. I know you, but they know. They won't know. They won't know. They don't oh, okay, okay. Know oh, oh, okay. Right. But yeah, he's so cool. He's not, he's not actually like that. Don't trip on him. Oh, um, so also with this one, right? This is translated by someone else. And it states, the Funimation dub is correct. Their own destroyer is the correct translation. So for Weiss's statement, we know that it would be referring to a singular god. And even within a scene itself, um, he references Belmont as the god. And we know that he's insane in general. Otherwise, he would say all gods. And he wouldn't need to even compare Belmont to Beerus within that same scene if he was just saying all gods. He obviously would have to be speaking okay, of a so, singular so god. So my, my, my argument to that is saying that he's talking about a specific god of destruction when he's saying a god of destruction. That's like broken like grammar. Because when, when I say, oh, I'm getting upgraded from uh, a, a retail worker up to, to front management. I'm not talking about Jeff the retail worker. I'm talking about the position in general. But hold on, that's going off of English for us Americans, right? People that can speak language, that's the English language. Japan doesn't work that way. So it's not crazy to say that, like, when they writing and doing shit right and trying to translate these Japanese shits, they fuck up. I suppose, but five... And, and the reason like why I say it has to be a fuck up... Wait, the reason why I say it has to be a fuck up is because the scan I sent is another thing, Connor and York, they're saying something different. So if it's just, just this one objective stance on it, right... And there was no other way of looking at it. It was just no flaw within it. It could not be any way of looking at it other than what you're presenting. But there is another way. Because Funimation has a dub where they flat out say their own god of destruction. Not a god, okay. their singular. So, so the least statement I, I, would be contentious. Okay, all right. So, so, so what we're both saying is, is that both of ours could be mistranslations, but we can't really use them as Well, sources. I'm not saying... So what I'm saying is, right, I'm not saying mine's a mistranslation. I'm specifically saying that yours is a mistranslation. I'm presenting evidence to why that would be the case. I'm showing that in Japan, there's a lack of plurals. I'm explaining to why they would have made a big mistake in this case. I've shown an example of a translation stating their own God. So I'm substantiating why mine would be more correct than what you're presenting, right? And um, Right, but like the, the exact same argument could be made for mine. So I feel like this this point Well, I would say it doesn't work the same way, right? Because let's look at the scene itself. Let's say, you know, we can actually like argue interpretations. We look at the actual scene and we see that when he brings it up, he references that Belmont is stronger than Beerus. But why would he need to even compare belt like Jiren? Um, like why would he even need to make that type of comparison if he's insinuating all the gods, every last one of them? Because then he could just say he's stronger than everybody. He wouldn't need to say, and that god that uh, the mortal stronger than is stronger than Beerus. That yeah, scene wouldn't. That, the scene wouldn't that, work. That, 
I, I forgot that we said that Belmont beat Beerus in, in an arm wrestling match, right? Yeah, I'm going to speak on that later, right? But what I'm saying is in that scene, there would be no reason to hype up Belmont if the scene was meant to say all the gods. By by the laws of like but logic he, and a sentence, least, that can, doesn't make sense. We, at the very least, we can assume that Jiren is at least physically stronger than Beerus, right? Well, we, we couldn't go off an assumption. I don't want to like, we're going to talk on our wrestling point, but just like to con like go off this one, right? Just to end this. It wouldn't make any sense based off of what's in the scene for it to be saying all gods. It just would not make any sense. Otherwise, okay. the scene would just go, Jiren is stronger than like a god of destruction, and it would have been no need to even try to like make Beerus look bitch made to Belmont. Would you agree to that? Like that wouldn't make sense. I, I, I suppose so, yeah. Yeah, so um, to speak on the arm wrestling point, uh, within that scene itself, we know we have no actual indication of if this was with Key, and you would agree that characters with Key would be stronger without it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So we have no indication of how this arm wrestling match went. We have no. We can only assume, right? And that wouldn't be that wouldn't be fair. That wouldn't be fair to like the the overall stances we have. We would be very disingenuous to say, well, they have to be using Key. We don't know. They could have just doing okay. a normal arm that's wrestling fair, match. Yeah, they could have been just doing a, a normal arm wrestling match. And it's not crazy to say that Beerus could just be weaker without Key and then stronger with Key, right? I'm not making that claim, but I'm just saying it's definitely that can be a possibility in that case. We have no clue in our okay. wrestling match, so we can't use that for scaling, in my opinion. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, wait, let me see so, what, so what say I would, so I don't leave so it. So one, one of the arguments that I would make is mm -hmm. that here's a panel of, uh, you, you know Beerus and Champa fought in manga, right? Those two yeah, practically the were even and stalemated. We said that Beerus would pro or Vado said that Beerus would probably win only due to the fact that he's probably like he he's fitter. Oh, I remember you talking about within the like, anime. Hmm? Um, because I know Vados makes that statement within the anime, and I can like give it um oh I feel like a really good interpretation of like what she was really implying there, if you would like to hear it. Well, I mean, they, 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 for, okay, uh, I'll, I'll hear the, uh, your, your Vado statement in the anime, but they straight up fight in the manga and, like, they, they practically stalemate each other. Like, they're yeah, I can speak, I can speak on, like, both of those. That, that's fine. Um, so for Vado's statement, her, she isn't so much saying, I'm pretty sure, like, if we can find it, we can, like, look at it verbatim. I don't want to misquote if you don't trust what I'm saying. But Vado says something along the lines of, um, they say, oh, who's stronger between Beerus and Chopper? She says, well, look at their bodies, right? Now, this can go either way if you think about it a certain way. Because while you may say, okay, well, it'll go to Beerus because he's not fat. Okay, well, why would not being bigger insinuate that Ciampa is stronger than Beerus? Why would that not be the case, right? Or you can argue, like, the other side. Okay, well, mm -hmm. Beerus looks more fit. So what I'm saying is, right, a bigger guy would be, like, you would look at him and say, well, he's stronger than the, like, this, um, the more uh, little one, right? Like, bigger would be stronger than little. You would go off that um, just first looking at somebody, not like reading their key, you know, shit like that. Just looking at somebody. You would say the bigger guy has to be stronger than the little guy. Okay. Yeah. So with that, Vado's statement isn't just flat out saying that uh, Beerus could win or Chompa would win. It's just saying, like, just look at him and, you know, come up with your own shits, right? It's free to interpretation. It, it's no way of concretely saying if in, in this um, case... Is she saying that Beerus is stronger or Champa is stronger? And within the manga, we know that Beerus realistically couldn't be equal because Champa does not last as long as him. He's literally knocked the fuck out within the match. So we know but they in couldn't terms be of, in, in terms of pure power, those two practically stalemate each other until Champa would quote unquote run out of stamina. Also, wait, so within the, the this fight, um, didn't we like stop him? Hmm? Didn't yeah, we, we stop them before? Them. Yeah. Which, which follows up into my next argument. We tapped, we and Vados tapped them both on the neck, and they just fucking died. Like, they, Wait, they before you go on to that one, out. let me like speak on the Beerus and Chompa thing before you like uh, go to that one, right? Because I know I, I understand this point, and I know it's like different. And I want to, I don't want to like leave this alone. So in regards yeah. of like Chompa and Beerus is uh, being equal or relative, the only thing we know is within the anime, it's like um, I can find it if you want to see it. They're flat out stated to be equal. Like, there's no argument there. Uh, you can argue the overall, like, maybe it's, like, faulty, but we don't, for the manga, we have, like, literal showings of Beerus fighting other gods and chomping shit, so it's a lot easier to concretely mm -hmm. say, okay, they're no longer even, but within the anime, we kind of have to go off what's actually there, so I don't mind within the anime them being even, that, like, doesn't mean anything to me, but within the manga, we right, understand so, that they, hmm? Uh, so, so, like, so what you're saying is, is that, like, Beerus and Champa in the anime are absolutely even irrefutably. Okay, yeah, I, I, I couldn't mean. I couldn't argue that since it's like literally a scan if flat out says it. I won't be disingenuous. Like for the anime, it's okay. like flat out stated to equal. But within the manga, we but, understand that um when they fight all of the gods, if both Beerus and Champa were of equal level to one another, Champa would have lasted literally with Beerus. He would have been at the same but, but, the, but that, he would have been basically the final three. Into the, uh, that falls into the uh, the stamina problems, right? 
Um, and and Champa and Beard is straight up one v one in the manga. And Wait, they, where do they, they say that Champa has stamina issues? Yeah, but like in terms of pure power, we know that they're absolutely relative to each other, if not equal. No, I'm asking where do they say that within the manga that Champa like has stamina issues in comparison to Beerus? Be, well, well, be, well they, they don't state it, but we obviously know that that's the case, since in terms of pure power, the two stalemate each other, but Champa didn't last as long in the tournament. Wait, so if there's no proof that Champa like has less stamina, right, why would you think that's the case? Why would him not losing in the tournament just mean that he's weaker than Beerus? Okay, so then I, I can just make the argument that Champa fought stronger gods. Okay, prove Beerus that Champa fought stronger gods. That's all you'd have fought, to do. Prove that Beerus didn't. I'm not making the claim that, like, Beerus fought... I never said that. That never came out of my mouth. You made the claim that Champa fought stronger gods, right? I don't have to fulfill I, a burden that, that, that like, I never, like, like we, said. We can't, we can't really use the fact that, like, <laughs> we, we've seen blatantly that those two are evenly matched. But do you feel like it's a bit, like, disingenuous to say... I'm well, sorry to interrupt, but the judge is gone. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I got it recorded. He gave, he gave, me, he gave me the judge, bro. Okay. Yeah. It's like you did right there. Yeah, so you're good. Um, but like as I was saying, huh? right, you you can't like go with the assumption and say that Champa fought stronger gods unless you could prove it. That that's all I'm yeah, saying. Okay, right, that, so no, it, that's it, perfectly fair. And then like even then, say if you want to give the interpretation, right, your interpretation is inherently an assumption because there's nothing that backs it up. If in the market yeah, no, there's absolutely. nothing that states, I, I was just saying that because yeah. um, I'm, I'm saying that that Beerus and Champa absolutely have relative, if not equal, strength at full power. Yeah, I would disagree. I would say that Beerus is shown stronger based off feats, right? That's how but, I would, but like, the two fight it. like blatantly. Yeah, they, can you they prove fight. that Beerus and Champa fought at a hundred percent? That they were trying to kill one another? They were pissed off. Okay, they're brothers. They they even said that I'm not holding back in that panel and saying I don't care if this universe dies. I just care that I beat you. Yeah, they're they brothers. I would say I would say that strength. Beerus and Champa definitely show care for one another, but they're brothers. Like they just talk shit. I don't believe that means they're serious. But but that that's that's mu like, like that's an assumption. That is way more. Also, outlandish. wait, we're in the panel, right? He says, I don't give I don't give a damn what happens to the universe anymore. Hump. I just been waiting to hear. Why does that mean like they're um not like that they're trying to actually like kill one another? They're just saying fuck the universe. Yeah, yeah like they're they're, they're saying, I don't care if this universe dies, I'm going to beat you. Yeah, why would that mean that they're like actively trying to kill each other seriously? All that means is that, right. That's more that's more reason for no, hold on. saying that they're holding back. All that would mean is is that Beerus and Champa at a certain level of power is a threat to the universe. But that does not mean their max power is being used there. It's the same way as um if you remember within the Cell games, right? Goku, I think it was Goku, Gohan, or even Cell, they throw a Kamehameha at the earth. They throw it in the ground, right? This doesn't mean this yeah. is their max power in the slightest but they still can destroy the planet at this level of power. So what I'm saying is you have the more concrete or you have the more substantiated to say that they were just completely trying to rip each other's head off. They're dead ass trying to kill each other, right? They're going 100% against one another. This I is feel like that's full a max. stretch though. To, yeah, to and say the only, that, oh, oh, they're, they're, they're using 25% of their max power. Well, I wouldn't say it's a stretch, right? Because if that's the case, later on, when this moment of opportunity where Beerus and Ciampa can both prove how relative and close they are, Champa's folded, and Beerus is the second last, like he's um one of the last people left, and you can't prove that I'm, Champa I'm not, falls I'm not stronger than that, that those two. That Beerus is like I, I believe that Beerus is stronger than Champa, but I'm definitely saying that they're absolutely relative to each other. Same thing with Belmont. Same thing with all the other guys. I'm yeah, sure I would disagree with that. I would say like I would say feats prove that that wouldn't be the case. But they fight. Yeah, and you can't prove that they were actually like seriously trying to end one another. You can't prove that they weren't. Well, I gave an interpretation. I'm not saying objectively that that's the case. I'm saying I'm giving an interpretation now, substantiating with evidence of why what I'm giving is more credible than what you're saying, right? I'm I not suppose. saying that because maybe in the future they just put out like a fucking thing and it says like Beerus and Chomper equal to the Mago. Who knows? You know what I mean? I'm just saying like for what I'm arguing, that's the interpretation I'm giving. Okay, all right. Uh, on to my next argument. Gotcha. Um, Beer, like moments after his fight with Champa, Whis and Vados tap the two of them on the back of the neck, and they just like they fold, like they're they're out of they're out cold, like they're done, right? Exactly. And in this panel, Whis kicks Goku in the fucking face, and in the next, like in the next page, he just gets up like nothing happened, and they keep fighting. Okay, so your argument is just that uh, against Belmont, I mean not against Belmont, against Champa and Beerus, right? Vados and Whis, who arguably you could say Whis is like even stronger, but I don't even think that matters. Weiss chops Beerus on the neck. Beerus is knocked the fuck out, right? Beerus, mm -hmm. like, fucking somersaults, kicks Goku. Goku's fine. 
So you would be saying that proves that Goku would have higher like durability or he scales higher than Beerus due to him being able to take his attack. Yeah, I would say you would have to prove that the level of power he's using against Beerus is the same that he used against Goku. Because I would say otherwise we would be assuming. Because you know like the neck chop is common within Dragon Ball? Like I can show you from OG yeah. Dragon Ball where he chomps a dude in the back. Yeah, so it's not like doing something that looks more um, more like a but spectacle. every time that they do that, it's hyper casually. Like they, they do it unbelievably casually every single time they chop somebody in the neck. Well, I would say we that's just the style of it. Him. Like, yeah, that's just the style of it. Why would why would like the overall presentation of an attack indicate how strong or how much power is being put into it, especially within a series like Dragon Ball? Because no, okay, okay. Goku so, can get so hurt e- by even a rock. If, even if they're equal, even if Whis's kick, with, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say Whis's kick is equal to his neck chop, which is a massive stretch. Wait, hold on. So Goku if you still wait, before up. we even go into that, right? Would you believe that Dragon Ball characters can hold their power back? Absolutely. Yeah, so with that, why would Whis be using the same power he used for Beerus against Goku? Well, there, there's obviously, like, more evidence to suggest that Whis kicked Goku harder because it's a, it, it's a kick rather than a light chop on the neck. Well, you just agreed that characters can hold back, right? So with that Absolutely. agreement... Yeah, so with that agreement, the but kick can be the same the level as the, the chop that Whis... Or, or okay, with the evidence... I'll give you even more benefit of the doubt and say that we Like, the, the neck chop is is, like... Twice as strong as fucking the the kick, right? Goku right. still gets up like nothing happened, and then Wait, continues hold on. So, to fight. So that still goes into my point, right? Unless you can prove in those moments that like Whis is using the same power against Beerus, and within the manga, there's uh-huh. less. Hold on, in the manga, there's even less evidence of Goku even scaling to Beerus. Like there's less. If Jiren doesn't scale to Beerus and Goku beats he Jiren, does. then Goku doesn't scale to him within the manga. And I'm saying for manga line of events. If there's no scaling, boys, boys, we're getting circular. We're getting circular. We're gonna keep doing this. No, wait, yeah, it isn't circular. This is going to a different point. Right? No, because listen, the one I'm saying is circular is because you're you're making a point, he's gonna rebuttal it, and it's gonna stay in the same point. Oh, okay. you guys want to like, do you guys want to draw conclusions here? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna finish what I was saying, so and I'm gonna just end right, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna end yeah, like yeah, yeah, that's what I was getting at. That's what I was getting. I feel like D ball should finish what he's saying, and then Thunder, you have one last rebuttal, and then. Okay. We drop it right there. Let me okay. Do okay. Don't okay. introduce you. any new points, please. Yeah, so I got we'll you. I won't. So basically, just to like um finish this up, what I'm saying is that unless you could prove in those moments that Whis was using like higher power of Goku versus Beerus, and we know within the manga it definitely couldn't be the case because if there's no evidence of them of Goku and Jiren scaling above the gods, right? And I feel like I debunked the manga line of scaling for that point, then there's no way that Goku would ha- like um be needing more power to knock out than it would be Beerus. It just wouldn't make sense. It would be an inherent assumption. And um, yeah, okay. that's it for me. All right, uh, and so my rebuttal to that is is that even if I give you the benefit of the doubt in saying that Whis kicked Goku with half the force that he chopped Beerus' neck with, like even if you want to say the neck chop is twice as powerful as that kick, Goku still got up like nothing happened and Beerus was out cold. Yeah, I would just argue that all that would mean is is that he used more power against Beerus since Goku has no scaling to Beerus within the manga. He does. Based off of Belmont and Jiren and Champa and all the others. Yeah, I would say I disagree with that, but we like we can conclude this point. Like that's it. Uh, all right. We got to like. So, are we going to judge? Okay, so wait, are we going to conclusions? Conclusions, or are we just like moving out, moving off this point? We're, we're uh, I, I think this point. because I gotta go soon, so uh, conclusions probably. Oh, conclusions. Okay. okay, that's cool. Okay, okay, okay. So you guys said who wants to go first? Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll go first. The person that brought up the positive, the point, like the the original point. So, whose premise is which? So I'm asked. Well, I was on the negative of um Cluck, so I guess you go first. All right, so Cluck has to go first. So my my argument for like Jiren and MUI Goku being stronger than Beerus is that they scale to gods of destruction that um that are like I, that have seen my god i cannot speak right now uh, that have been shown to scale to beerus at least relativity relativity right they are relative to beerus and there's far more evidence suggesting that beerus is relative to all of these characters all the other gods of destruction than there is not and so what i'm saying is is that with mui goku and all of his feats and jiren and all of his statements and guidebooks backing him up that they would scale higher than beerus based off of like what they've done to gods of destruction you can go now okay so my conclusion is just that uh, my opponent gave evidence that he felt like qualified Jiren and Goku to be above them. I gave uh, evidence to show that that wouldn't be the case and that the scans of which that he presented show that shows um, 
Goku and Jiren being above the gods are just mistranslated and do not accurately represent what's presented from the source material itself. Uh, for like the manga, um, we argued Bel Belmont and Beerus, and I explained why Beerus's overall feat and what he was doing would be greater than anything Belmont has done. And I even gave like an interpretation and another argument of just saying that Belmont is sneaking them. He's catching them off guard and this fits with the overlying scaling I presented because it wouldn't be consistent for Beerus to be able to kill someone who could later put him in a bubble. And then even despite that, I showed that even like with them getting hit, they can tank Belmont's attack and react to it. So it literally wouldn't matter. And um, Beerus and Champa, I feel like I explained that well. But then the anime line of events, they're just flat out equal. But then the manga line of events, we can see from the actual like event where they fight everybody, Beer like Champa is not comparable to Beerus. So that the event of which they're fighting and uh, Cluck presented a claim that they were equal at that moment, I explained that that wouldn't be the case logically given the scaling. And um, I feel like I basically explained why Beerus has not been touched by Goku and Vegeta. I mean, Goku and uh, Jiren in terms of, you know, uh, their scaling to him. And yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> my fault, my fault, my fault. I didn't hear that. Okay. So, newbie, do you want to go? Do you want to do this first? Or? No, nigga, you can go. <laughs> oh, it's my dick. Okay, so let's go aside. Hold on. Don't disrespect me like that. Okay. So, going on, going on over conclusions, I do think D Balls won this mainly for the fact that for the majority, it's kind of just been. Uh, you guys kind of getting stuck on a point, but I feel like D-Balls proved this point more, especially with the, uh, with the uh, durability point. You kept, you like, you kept trying to explain what key control was to you, but you kept kind of just like, in a way, making assumptions with, oh, since we kicked him, it must be harder than a little chop. But, you know, narratively in Dragon Ball, we all see that, like, key control, it doesn't matter how, what way you hit somebody, you know, you can't quantify how strong it was other than the other. I feel like that's what he was trying to get at here. That was like the main point you guys were arguing. Not the main point, but like towards the end. Mm -hmm. It was like where it was like really circular, but D balls was kind of making this point more than you were kind of rebuttaling it. You see what I'm trying to get at here? I, I, I suppose so. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm assuming it's my turn now, right? Mm -hmm. Shut up. Who you think you're talking to, bro? Just oh because you got a deeper voice and probably a bigger voice doesn't God. mean I want to hear I mean, from you, okay? He is light skin. Judge, bro. Judge, bro. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Quick question. One more thing. D-Balls, are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Okay, yeah. you're going to have to bleep on almost everything I just said. Talk to your shit, talk to your shit. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> all right also, also, I want to do a little surprise for your video after this uh, thing, so. Ew, what the fuck? All right, all right. Now, then, back to what I was saying. All right, yeah. Spurg Balls yeah, 07 won this debate. All right, my reasoning because uh, my reasoning because of it is basically throughout the whole debate, right, all, all, all of, all of Thunderclucks rebuttals have been based upon... Uh, I have it based upon assumptions presupposed by himself. Uh, other examples would be like just Thundercluck completely like just not avoiding rather than kind of trying to move away from like obvious points that D-Balls has made. Uh, I forgot like one of the points was like uh, what had to do with the Whis hit, like Whis hitting Goku. And then uh, like obviously D-Balls said it himself. They could obviously hold back their power depending on who they're fighting. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Thundercluck even agreed upon that, but still decided to continue on the point. Honestly, throughout the whole debate, it just felt like Thundercluck was defending a losing point. So it, it was like he was fighting an uphill battle. I, I believe D Balls won this pretty easily. Okay. Actually, I won't say easily because there was so much points throughout the debate. That's so disrespectful. That's so disrespectful. Uh, yeah, that's why I say I won't say easily. No there's so much points. There's so much points throughout the debate. Respect the homie Thunder name. Put some respect there's on the homie. Bounce. Bounce. My, my brother's calling me. I got a bounce. Uh, GG, by the way. All right, all right, all right, number one, D-Ball, like, bro, number one, you know.